I don't even know what this is. There's so many TikTok girls now that are are completely unintelligible. You can't even understand what they're talking about anymore. There is a wokeness beyond wokeness. It, 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 there's the woke people and the other people that go, oh, you're woke, it's stupid. And then they're like, no, we need to do this, that, or that. And then behind the woke people is this subculture of wokeness that doesn't even seem to be speaking the same language. It, it, I don't know what it is. They come up with new terminology for things. They ta- They seem to gather up the catchphrases of the woke and and slam them together and throw kind of a a prefix or a fucking postfix at the end of it, whatever those are called. Postfix. What's it? It's a prefix, and then what's the ending called? Suffix. Suffix. Wait, what about a Nassauix? The counties. Fuck yeah. A suffix. Yeah, a postfix. Uh, and they put those on the end of it and make a whole new form of nonsense this girl i defy you i defy you to understand what the fuck she's talking about so i'm not an expert or an authority on what neuroqueer means but to simplify it and make it easier for you to understand it's essentially um on a base level it's kind of where your neurodivergent identity and your queer identity how they interact and intersect this also extends to your other identities, such as your race, your socioeconomic class, your ethnicity, etc., and how those things also interact and intersect with your neurodivergence and your queerness. And some ways that some people may practice being neuroqueer can range from theoretical thought experiments to social justice work methods. A good example may be something like deciding to represent your gender identity in an intentionally queer way as a way to subvert hegemonic ideas of gender performance. It's a fairly new term, so it is very fluid and the possibilities are endless. Neuroqueering is a rejection of able hetero assimilation and counter identification in favor of disidentification. And I'll put a link in the comments for where I got all this information from. It is an article called an introduction to neuroqueer. For anybody else who may be watching this video, I'm really- What? What the fuck was she talking about? What the fuck? She's coming. She goes, it's a relatively new term. You came up with it. Hey, a scobby doobie. That's my new term. It's relatively new, and I hope you understand it. She fucking was babbling. This is something if, 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 if a few years ago, she was sh- uh, sitting in a shrink's office. And she went off like this. The shrink would be like, I have a new book. I have a new book based on this mental patient babbling in my office. What do you what do you think that means? This is one of these fucking twats that thinks she is so above everyone. She's figured out what people are and what they and unless you're dealing in terms of neuroqueer and subvergence, high verge, then you're just like, oh, you're still talking about men and women? Oh, God. Oh, you little ant. It's like I'm speaking to a bunch of ants on an ant hill because she's so knowledgeable. And meanwhile, she's a mental patient. She's just rambling on like Charles fucking Manson. Remember Manson used to just go, I'm not, not the, the, the big people on the fucking top or so, and, and then we're the low people, we're on top. They're like, oh, oh, you're a mental patient. I get it. You're nut. That's what she is. And then a shit. She the one with the shit all over her face? No. That's my wife. <laughs> yeah. They're they're nuts. And I, I don't know, is this something that goes away over time? Like, like you know, when you were a kid, you were a teen maybe, you, you'd have this ideology and it wasn't based on any facts. It was your own dumb growing mind, your hormones, your friends, whatever the fuck. 
And then you got older and you'd literally cringe at some of the shit you did and said and believed when you were uh, a kid. Now, this woman's obviously not a kid. She's at least in her 20s. And and, and she believes this nonsense. And I, I, I got to wonder if if in however many years she's going to take the shit out of her face and go, what the fuck was I thinking? Because the world is still moving on as the world. It didn't adopt your neuroqueer bullshit. So at some point you got to go, yeah, I got to make a living. I can't walk into a, a place of business. There is some, you know, I'm sure you could get a job at a fucking coffee shop. But if you need to deal with the general public who don't fucking believe in your nonsense, you know, they're, they might not want to do business with you. And do they reach a point where they go, oh, God, because I'm sure she gets like she must get the greatest bunch of douchebag friends just like her. Like, that's the way if 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 I had the potential of rambling that kind of bullshit, I would be surrounded by the likes of her and other people. It would be great. I'm incapable of coming up with that kind of nonsense. And, and seeming sincere about it. but So maybe it's a social thing, a friend thing. But there's got to be a point where she goes, I am starving. I need a dollar. <laughs> and what the fuck do you do? Where do you go? Where do you work? And it was when you were just kind of a teen. Maybe your early 20s. You acted really stupid. I get it. I Even in my 30s, of course I acted like an idiot. But one thing I realized is I probably needed to get a job. <laughs> I, I, you know, I couldn't just blurt out these outrageous ideas at work and uh, put a fucking bone through my nose or, or whatever the fuck. So at some point you learn, but it seems like that learning thing is really getting pushed up these days. Like where it was your late teens, early 20s, you would realize it. Now it seems to be into your 30s that people realize like, oh, shit. And it's embarrassing when you see 40-year-old Antifa people in the mug shots. You're like, oh, dude, you missed it. You missed it. Like the old hippies in the 60s. Yeah, and what we need to do. And he's just, oh, look at the young people. <laughs> you know, you missed the boat. Sorry, you had your chance. So as they they push the age of realizing you're an idiot uh, further and further up, I, I got to wonder where that line is now where you finally do realize. Because a lot of people do. They do realize after time that uh, you know, you're an idiot. Your, your ideas were stupid. They were unrealistic. They were idealistic sometimes. And then you just kind of, you know, realize, ah, okay. I'll get a I'll get a job. <laughs> I'll stop spouting off about neuroqueer. Neuroqueer. It doesn't even make sense. Neuro, this biological function. <laughs> and then queer, which, you know, I, I'm sorry. I think a lot of it is choice. <laughs> there are a few people that are born that way. But uh if if it if you're just, you can't be in between. I don't think bisexual, whatever is classified as bisexual, is a, uh, is a biological thing. I think there are some gay people that are fucking born gay. Something went awry. And who's to say, you know, that can't happen? Uh, I think something fucked up. It's an anomaly. And a guy comes out and just wants to be a chick or wants to be fucking a guy that acts like a girl or femi, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think that's true. Because sometimes you see, uh, you see in a, at a very young age, you're like, oh, yeah, that fucking kid's queer. <laughs> that kid's fuck queer. Uh, but, but I think that's so definitive that you, it doesn't span the whole stretch of this LBTQ fucking LGBTQ add more letters a is in there somehow i don't even know where that fits in the plus and but i don't think it, it, that fits in i think biologically it's like an on off switch it's like you're either this or that or if you're gay and you're really gay something genetically flipped and that's what you are but i think if you're bisexual no man i like this and this that's a choice it's a it's a attention grabbing 
uh, choice that you made. As I think um, people that uh, want to be transgender that aren't like you could tell again from from early on, you could see a kid is like, yeah, maybe nature made a fucking mistake there. Maybe. But for the most part, you see a dude, a fucking dude with a wig on. Like that guy, that fucking uh, assistant secretary of health. That's not a fucking genetic thing. Larry, how you doing, my friend? That's not a genetic fucking thing. That's this nut who decided his life sucked so much as a dude that he just wants the attention he never got because he was an ugly guy or, you know, maybe he was gay. And then he just goes over and puts a wig on and does. That's not a genetic thing. I think a lot of gayness and a lot of these fucking ever increasing initials on the LGBTQ fucking scale are choices that people make because they're fucking bored or they want attention or they're nuts. I think that's a big part of it. You're fucking nuts. So, uh, yeah, neuroqueer. Like I said, I defy you to explain what the fuck she said to me. I defy you. There's nothing there that made any sense. I could even take something like neuroqueer. I could probably write a whole piece about what neuroqueer is just right now without ever doing it. And it would sound like, wow, okay, because I know what the neuro system is. You know what queer is. Now, you know, you may, and they'd be like, oh my God, yes, the science. Read the science of Anthony Cumia. Let me Google this guy because he must be an ama- Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at what he said and done. He's a terrible human being. <laughs> if he's even that. Yeah. But that's a big thing now. You, 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 I guess you come up, with a, come up with a new term and explain it without really explaining it. You just babble and you're fucking in. Now she's the neuroqueer person. She's the expert of neuroqueer. And no one knows who she is or what she did or what it is. But she's now the expert in neuroqueer. These uh, TikTok douchebags that are so pro-pronoun. Pronouns have gotten like we knew they would. When you give any bit of power to fucking idiots, they will run with it as, as far as they can go. And they're being allowed to run with it as far as they want. Uh, we, we've, we've, we've placated them. We've just sat there and let them rename people, come up with new genders, saying women aren't women and men aren't men. And that we've, we've allowed it to the point where they don't stop. You out of your mind? Do you think they actually stop? They'll just continue coming up with shit. You thought they, them and stuff, and you see it on people's profiles, and you're like, oh, this person's a douchebag. They, them now seems kind of normal. They're like, oh, you know, you don't want him, her, they, them, all right, whatever. But now they're coming up with things that make no sense at all. They're so mentally ill that they believe it in their own heads. And when they try to explain it, they just show how insanely uh, retarded they are. And here's another one. We played these, I think every day for a couple of weeks now, we played one of these videos where a retard tries to explain gender and gender uh, pronouns. Binary folks get pronouns that point to who they are, man or woman. But if the only pronoun that non-binary people had was they, them, then that pronoun points to what we're not. We're not binary and we're not cis we're not and since pronouns indicate gender in the english language if they was the only option that we had then it could confuse people into thinking that non-binary is a third gender as opposed to a multitude of gender experiences and what i love about neo pronouns is that they point to who we are neo pronouns some of them have meanings that are connected to gender queer history and others have meanings that reflect the individual's experience with gender. As our understanding of gender broadens, our language is broadening to accommodate that because language 
It's a reflection of the way we think. Again, I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Anytime I listen to one of these, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm trying. I understand pronouns and and these different gender things that they want to say exist. Gender, I'm not gender binary. Oh, okay, so you don't fall into the two genders that most regular, normal thinking people fall into. Uh, pansexual, that starts getting into some weird things. But now, neo-pronouns. What in the fuck is that? that that's just a, they're, all they wanted was their own pronouns. Remember that? Now it's not good enough because they were given it. Anytime you fucking give credence to anything that these nuts want, they will turn around and come up with something 10 times crazier. Every time. Someone's got to tell these people no at some point. Someone's just got to say, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing the they, them. We're not doing the fucking pronoun thing. Because then they come out with neo-pronouns. And now you're constantly in error and the piece of shit for not being fucking up on, on your neo-pronouns. Uh, so then you're the ist or the phobe. Oh, and they're always these mushy, just mushy boys. Oh, I'd love to, his, I, I would love to see him tell that, have that same conversation with his father. Dad, sit down. You know, neo-genders are... Son of a bitch. And then just... That's... That's what my father threatened me with all the time. Or he said, if I scream like that again, I better have an arrow sticking out of my chest. I had a cramp in my leg. Come on, I was a kid. It hurt. Jesus. At least I wasn't pontificating about uh, gender queer. Gender queer. I think about my granddad and my father and all these, my uncles that were in wars and, and, and think of trying to explain gender queer to, to... <laughs> you think they'd be able to understand any word but queer? Like they would just hear queer and go, oh, no. Ah, uh, you're so close minded. Gender queer is not a, f and that isn't a good term to use. It's somebody who does. What are you doing with the knife? <laughs> yeah, they would not understand this. And that's a good thing, mind you. More people shouldn't understand this. You shouldn't try to understand this. You shouldn't be convinced by someone that you are understanding it. It's nonsense, it's drivel. It's babbling. Uh, every day, TikTok has some idiot talking about some new gender thing. And we played a few in the past, and they're all just nonsensical. Nothing makes sense. They're talking like they really know what they're talking about. Like mental patients. A mental patient can sit there and babble, but have this sincere look in their face while making absolutely no sense. And I think that's what these TikTok people are doing when they talk about various genders that just don't exist. They, they went from male, female, other. Remember the other on an application or something? And you're like, what? What's other? Oh, well, that means you're, you don't identify as either. Oh, all right. It's the mental patient spot. I get it. But then it got to... That subdivision had to then get every other mental patient in to make their own mental patient spots. Pansexual, polysexual, polyamorous. Uh, bi what's the other one with the, the, the bi, bi neutral, neutral gender, neutral gender fluid, um, gender binary. That's the one gender binary. All these things came out, and then when they explain it, they just sound insane. And of course, they have the look to match. They all look like that, those idiots that should be getting beaten by the police at protests. Uh, so here's some blue-haired thing. Um, oh, there's the blue-haired one, and then there's the other one. The 
asexual non-romantic. Which one you want to do first? Blue hair? I got the other one queued up. All right, we'll do the other one first. This is, I don't know what this is. This is a reminder that non-asexual aromantic and allosexual aromantic are not always interchangeable. Allosexual. Non-asexual aromantic includes identities such as my own. I'm not asexual, but I'm not allosexual either. My experiences are going to be very different from an allosexual aromantic person's. I think it's just important if you're an ally who's talking about aromantic issues, if you're talking about allosexual aromantic issues, make sure to say allosexual aromantic. There's nothing wrong with that term. Just saying non-asexual aromantic also includes other aromantic people who might not experience sexual attraction but still don't identify as asexual. Just something to keep in mind. Oh, uh, just, uh, just something to keep in mind. Right, while I'm moving and yeah, yeah. I got other things on my mind. But I'm going to keep that right here. That's where I'm keeping it. On my mind. <laughs> While we're dealing with fucking 7th Avenue. The mental patients. I'm going to keep that in mind. Just something to, you know, just something to knock around your head while you have nothing else to think about except maybe killing your, your family and your pets. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? First of all, what was that? Don't get me wrong. I'd fuck it regardless of what it is. I don't know what it was. I don't know what that is. But, uh, it, and the Jughead hat and the aromantic. What is aromantic? Could you look that up? Is it even on online? Uh, I don't know. Aromantic. Aromantic people have little or no romantic attraction to others. They may or may not feel sexual attraction. An aromantic person can fall into one of two groups. And <laughs> or sexual people or aromantic asexual people. So if you're aromantic sexual, you can fuck other people, but you just don't care about yeah, them in yeah. any way. You're not even really attracted to... I, I don't know how that how that would work. This sounds like a thing that someone came up with because no one likes them. <laughs> like, like if no one loves you, this is so imagine being able to come up with this drivelly bullshit in school when you were sitting there on Valentine's Day with nary a card in front of you. And you just go, no, I'm aromantic. Good. I'm glad I didn't get a fucking Valentine. Would have offended me if one of these lovely girls that seem to be giving Valentine's to every other guy gave me one. No, but I'm aromantic. Shut up. No, you're not. Every human, every normal human wants people to be attracted to them. They want attention of other people. They want to feel like they have the capacity to be loved or have somebody um, be enamored by them. Uh, and, and in order to do that, you put that out there. That thing is describing a sociopathic mental illness that, oh, yeah, I just don't have any romantic. Like, that's not. That's not a human quality. That is abnormal for a human being to not find any other people somehow attractive, whether it's physically, mentally, a commonality in thought, whatever the fuck. But it's just so amazing that they've come up with these words to describe severe mental illnesses. <laughs> oh, my God. And these are like all the rage now. TikTok is full of these mutants that you don't know what the fuck they are with another term, another fucking pronoun to, to put on their profiles. Uh, we got green hair. Yeah. I got a, a, her boobs if you want to see her boobs. Of course I do. Okay, I figured it. Jesus. This is a reminder that non-asexual and allosexual aromantic Those are, are nice not tits. always interchangeable. Non-asexual aromantic includes identities such as my own. What a I'm waste. Like, I'm not allosexual. you put your butchy boy hairdo. I don't know. Some makeup, long hair. You fucking tits like that. A little, little bippy top. Uh, she'll probably get him cut off. Those beautiful things laying in a dumpster behind some fucking clinic.
Christ. Fucking mental. And how old do you think that is? That's still a teen. Oh, but you got it all figured out, don't you? Oh, yeah. I wish Anthony now was exactly like 17-year-old Anthony. Because <laughs> I knew everything. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's 18, and his pronouns are they and he. Well, that dude has great tits. <laughs> that guy, I want to feel that guy's tits. Ah, <laughs> uh, I bet I'd fuck that guy's pussy, too. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? He, stop it. And that's the only, let me tell you something. This little fucker goes around and, and is, is just loved. Oh, you're so great. You know, oh, you're cute. You're this. It's like, that helps. When you go around, it's ma'am, like that guy, or one of these fat Chaz Bono things with the fucking beard and the trucker hat and the coveralls. No, you're showing that you got great tits. You're a little pixie-like. You still got a girly face. There's not a hair on you. Start taking some fucking hormones. I'll show you. I'm growing chest hair like a motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking do that and then come back and see how fucking awesome it is when you walk by and, and people look at you like a freak. Now you're just looking, oh, yeah, she's got that short fucking hairdo. Cut your tits off if you got any fucking courage. Go ahead. Cut those beautiful perky tits off. My God, woman. Now he got green hair, and this one also. Who the fuck knows? I'm thinking it's a girl. I think I see some breast meat as you look down or something, but who knows? Who the fuck knows? Non-binary people now have white patriarchal beauty standards. Did anybody else catch that? It's, it's just kind of telling girl. that we want them all to look like white prepubescent femboys. Patriarchy still wants to put them in the box of things that are not men that we can infantilize. Did you know a lot of black AFAB people describe themselves as non-binary? AFAB? Because white Could you patriarchy pause and please look up AFAB? I know what AFAB is. Never heard of AFAB. Like the Beatles? Fab. We're a gear. Assigned female at birth. So AFAB, black people, she's talking about black women. All right, let me hear what she has to say now. I don't know what AFAB fucking means. I need that in my life. He pushed them out of the binary by aging them up and masculinizing them. Non-binary people don't owe anybody androgyny, but it's interesting that we've also all seemed to land on there being one type of androgyny and that it's infantilizing. Yes, I'm for body autonomy. I know dysphoria is real, but it does interact with patriarchy. I know that the reason I want to shave my legs isn't some essential characteristic of womanhood that I brought into this world. I think my dysphoria has something to do with how I came into this world, but it's heavily informed by patriarchy. You're wearing a dog collar, you dumb cunt. Patriarchy. I got one thing she was talking about, like the, the androgyny thing always defaults to a girlish looking thing. If someone's androgynous, they're going to look femi. It's going to be a femi looking boy or a girl that's trying to look like a guy, but still looks like a femi guy. Like it always defaults to the femi side uh, when someone's androgynous. Now you got, like I said, like Chaz Bono isn't trying to be androgynous. Chaz Bono's trying to be fucking a guy. So the beard, the hat and everything. But when someone tries to be androgynous, it always defaults to the femi look. But that's nature, motherfucker. Like a guy can shave and, and put on makeup and stuff and look femi. A girl, unless you go that whole gamut with fucking hormones, can't really take on the look of a guy without it looking like a femi guy. So this fucking idiot is saying, why should it be that way? It's like, well, because fucking nature. Because girls' skin is soft and nice. Because <laughs> girls don't grow fucking beards. And guys could shave theirs off. And put makeup on to make it look like they don't have a beard. See? See how it works, dummy? Dumb fuck. There are a couple of more TikTok gender people. Uh, this is a whole new thing now. 
these androgynous, ugly things get on Twitter and discuss what gender pronouns are and how they're great or they're awful or what, and it's more insanity. Is from my bio. And it is, what is androsexual? The basic definition is that I'm androsexual for people team, who are attracted you know? to masculinity. <laughs> yeah, no the important Does part that of look this like every says, girl from the soccer team? <laughs> yeah. This is what you do instead of <laughs> making the soccer team. Masculinity. The important part of this, it says, may be attracted to anyone with masculine qualities regarded of their gender or sexual orientation. When a lot of people look at androsexual and masculinity, they think, Amanda, why don't you just say you're straight? But there can be masculine women, or there could be a masculine they them, or there could be a masculine gender queer person. There could be just Amanda, a masculine man. Why don't you just Not say you hate your dad? Or even yeah. masculine. <laughs> Sometimes I like to make it easier on people and say that I'm pan with a preference because pansexuals don't care about gender. And neither do androsexuals. And I didn't know I was this until I Googled what is it called to be attracted to masculinity. And that's how I found out I was gay. What? Nice. You can be a regular wait, chick. So you're a woman, a girl, whatever the fuck you are. And you're attracted to masculinity, but you're not straight. She is so upset that she's straight. Like, she's so upset that she, it's like, what are you attracted to? Uh, I don't know, man. Ew. Ew. How do I make this interesting? Oh, but but that's terrible. That means you're just a regular straight person in school and everyone's gay or something. Yeah. So what I, okay, what if I'm just attracted to masculinity, but a woman's masculine, then I could be gay. Yes! I'll be that. We'll call it androsexual. And that's what I am. You dumb, lost fucking people. You're lost. Oh, God, they're mental. Well, that's not the uh, only one. Let's go to another one. Oh, God. I made a really loud, yelly video about this, but I decided I like her hair. I will approach yeah, this in a more Her hair reminds me of that Star Trek episode with the guys with the half black and half Jesus white face Christ. that were warring with each other. And they couldn't understand it. Even Spock is like, but I don't understand. Why are you warring? You're both ha half black and half white. He goes, but he's black on the left side of his face. And I'm white on the left side of my face. And how did Spock, this great mind, not see that? Like, it would be like, oh, obviously they have a problem with each other because it's the opposite. Like, we're supposed to look to uh, when that episode came out. Oh, it's so deep. See, man, they're black and white. We're all the same. But we could still have those bigotries and shut up. So she's got her black and white hair. Yuck. I made a really loud yelly video about oh, this, but I decided too. I will approach this in a more calm but stern manner. Who, who a rocking? lot of the people stern using manner. kitty and pup and Where bunny self pronouns are neurodivergent bunny minor. Self. It is a very common neurodivergent experience to feel a disconnect nope. from being a human mm -hmm. and from from the societal expectation of the gender you were assigned at birth. I don't like this so new retarded Cruella de Vil. Of <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's so, they, they try so hard to throw out words, to make this incomprehensible to people. The, the words she's trying to throw out there and use, uh, uh, are, you ne no one understands what the fuck she's saying. If you can't Real. pick an eyebrow color, I'm I can't listen to you about anything no, else. Yeah. That's you can't number even one. Decide on an eyebrow color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Just imagine that. Imagine the father is like, "You done in the bathroom yet, sweetie? Don't call me sweetie. I'm the. Are uh, you done in the bathroom? Yes. One minute. Oh God. And then and then that opens and the dad is just standing there. With his fucking <laughs> conditioner and shampoo in one bottle, just waiting. <laughs> to fuck. Like he don't give a fuck. And Pert he's plus. just like, yeah, yeah, pert plus and a towel <laughs> and his fucking. And he's just like, he just wants to shave his ball so that maybe oh, his yeah. wife will blow him. <laughs> ah. She's and in there dying this, one eyebrow. This walks out of the bathroom. He's like, and meanwhile, he could vividly remember just a few years ago where she's like, I love my daddy. And she, he's like, oh, I love you too, sweetie. And, and now this comes out of the bathroom with the, she, she the one with the shit all over her face? No, that's my wife. Uh, yeah, that's, and that walks out of the bathroom. He's just like, and she's just looks at him disgusted because he's a hetero white working class guy. She hates who he is and. 
Meanwhile, she's got worms coming out of her ears. Yeah, yeah. What are those things? <laughs> it looks like what you light at night in the summer to keep the mosquitoes away. <laughs> <laughs> you light it up and it burns. <laughs> oh, no. God. It's like you. the way to be genuinely special and different is to like work on yourself, not be like, oh, well, the outside has to be right, special right. and different. It's like that's fleeting because that's going to yeah. change. And, and, and f- another thing is most people who see her being so different are instantly going to have this preconceived notion yep. that she's fits right into a little category. Not different. You fit exactly into this. And by the way, she does. The look matches exactly what she's saying. So that is it. She should actually dress like a fucking accountant. Yeah. And, and, and people would be like, oh. And then she starts talking go, wow. Right. I wasn't expecting that. What a unique uh, take you have on things for somebody that looks like a normal human being and you're completely batshit crazy. Yeah. No, but she'd rather look like this so people can instantly know she's a douchebag. Yeah, it's a lot of words instead of just saying, I'm a barista. Like, we get it. <laughs> yeah, we know. get a barista. Hurry up with the espresso. Yeah, That's yeah. Uh, those are some <laughs> fantastic bukkake glasses, though. I gotta tell you, that would take a load perfectly. Just saying. You're saying her glasses are good at having cum on them? Yeah, yeah. If you bukkake, like having cum just drip down her glasses, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll bleach that other eyebrow. I would try to jizz on one eyebrow just so I can Would you do that? Yeah. yeah, that would be cool too. Oh, but look, yeah. look at her eyeshadow. One eyeshadow is trying to match the other eyebrow color. Like, So she's got orange on one eye. Oh, she really thought this out. Orange on the one. She thought this look out. Yeah. Oh, I just... Oh, my God. And all her friends. Oh, my God. That looks so cool. Oh, my God. I love your makeup. Oh, your hair, your eyebrows. Shut up. She looks a little, yeah, it's like Garfield has oh come to life. Oh, God. With a fucking, someone took two swings with a swing line stapler right at her fucking eyebrows, too. That's beautiful. Oh, well, she feels stupid in a few uh, years. But she's very She'll special. just feels stupid. The second she looks at. Her uh, federal withholding tax on a paycheck she worked for, she's going to feel like an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) What? What is this? The fucking shit flies out of her head. Her hair turns fucking one color immediately. Like, I'm going to have to talk to my senator. Boobs, like, pop out of the bindings that they were in. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just get a fucking OnlyFans. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. And there's more. There's more. Uh, Well, let's hear the rest of her because it's feeling a disconnect from being human and a disconnect from the societal expectation of gender. Whether you're neurodivergent or not, a lot of people have this experience who are neurodivergent. It's just very common with neurodivergent people. When this intersects, you get noun self pronouns and animal noun self pronouns. If you are not comfortable using someone's pronouns, because you assume it's kink for some weird ass reason, don't interact with them and just shut up about it. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, I was never gonna interact with you. <laughs> your sec noun fuck it. it's so they take shit that's already insane. The they them thing. When it was just our my pronouns, they them. And everyone went, that's fucking insane, stupid, and retarded, and you're an idiot. And then they fucking ran with it to a, to a place that you can't even fathom anymore. Kitten self. Kitten self. Right. <laughs> Your kitten self. Oh, are they? And there's more. What's the unpopular opinion that you have about parents and that you know is going to make a lot of parents mad? You've been following me long enough. You know what I'm about to talk about. Um, I'm going to preface this with I am not telling anybody how to parent their child. This is specifically what I feel is best. And that is that gender creative parenting is a better option for parenting than assigning kids genders at birth and then having them tell you if it's different later. And I say that because by not assigning any gender at birth and treating their gender as an unknown, it gives them so much more opportunity to explore gender identity in all of its facets instead well, of having you're not gonna have a baby registry. No one's gonna send you shit. That was you know pushed on I mean? them based off of their genital appearance. So this is again, insane. not telling anybody how to parent, but that's my two cents, and that's why we're yeah, raising well, our kiddo the way we are. It ain't quite worth two cents either. Like like gender, you you don't you don't assign the gender to your fucking kid, dummy. Nature does, or if you're religious, God did, whatever. 
It's got a penis. Everyone, when they pull that kid out and go, hey, it's a boy. Hey, it's a girl. There's a reason the doctor's saying it. He's not arbitrarily making it up. Penis self. I just assigned this child male. Look at me. I am God. No. It has a little dick. It's a boy. And they just can't fucking get past that nature assigned these things and there's nothing you could no dumb diatribe you could spout off on tiktok that's going to change that have you seen these uh, tiktok videos of the gender bullshit where this androgynous lump of shits they get up there and they start telling you about uh, other pronouns and other genders that are just like we gave them a few and, yeah. and now they're just running wild with it. They can't yeah. stop coming up with these imaginary genders. And, and it's a mental illness. It's a fucking mental illness. Yeah. I used to try to give him a break on that. Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah. I'm glad you asked. People who identify as abrosexual are Abro. Abrosexual. What? That means you identify as Abraham like Lincoln. Gender. Abro. Abrosexual friends one day might feel pan, but then the next day they might feel mm, asexual. And a week later, they could just be gay. Their sexualities are fluid. Does this mean they're fluid with all the sexualities? <laughs> Some. Every abrosexual is different. And we love our abrosexual friends. Abrosexual. Yeah, translation. Seriously, you're fucking mentally. That's yeah. a crazy person right there. That is a mentally fucking, ill person. That's a mentally ill person. Yeah. I, uh, I, sorry, I was trying to give the benefit of the doubt, but. <laughs> we gave them the inch and they are taking the fucking mile. That's what happens. Oh, there's men and women and uh, what, what else do you want? Well, L, B, G, T, Q, plus T, that, that, and it's like, okay, we'll give you that. Who's spirit? Well, <laughs> but what if you like someone one day and, and, and then you like the opposite sex the next day and then the next day you don't like any and then the next day you're gay and then, oh, that means you're a, a fucking lunatic. That's, that's called yeah. mentally ill. That's, that's your called, gender. That's called Andy Dick syndrome. <laughs> they used to just call it having PMS. Like, yeah. you just like a different thing. Or being a whore. Yeah. That you just fuck anything, regardless. <laughs> Irregardless, Norton. Uh, yeah, there's another one. Here's another uh, example. These, there's, there's, these are all over TikTok. Just a lot of people being really confused about the difference between being scoliosexual and being T for T. Nobody's being confused. scoliosexual is when a cis person says that they are exclusively attracted to trans and non-binary people, <laughs> which is pretty fetishistic. Being T for T isn't a separate sexuality. It's more of a dating preference within oh, your sexuality. Rock. Usually people have a reason to be T for T. T for T. Usually this has to do with two. safety <laughs> because dating cis people isn't always safe. This can have to do with feeling comfortable around your partner because you don't want to feel like you're like a walking trans educator all the time. People don't realize all the extra work that goes into being a trans person dating a cis person. It can also just be you want to date they someone don't. who has a similar yeah. life experience no to you and understands what you're going through. a trans person dating a cis person. This is very understandable and not fetishistic at all. But yeah, that's the difference. Oh. What else do you do with your life? Is that all you fucking do? <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. What the fuck else? Do you ever do anything but sit around and talk about what you want to fuck that night? Oh. <laughs> Just shut up and pack the Amazon boxes. Do you That's think all. that was fuck. Nick, do you think that was the conversation they were having before those big fucking ramps fell down on Omaha Beach? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's the fucking discussion that was going on in the transport ships? <laughs> Holy fuck. Those poor bastards. What did they die for? They'll say, hey, oh, it's not our job to educate you, but they also can't shut up about they, they're it. They're constantly trying to educate you. Love well, yeah. educating. That's the problem. I mean, that's what I see it as. They, they're they obsessed with it, with their yes. own infused sexuality. And yeah. it's fucking uh, black people wrapped up in being black. Just try being a fucking straight white fella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just try. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they, they, so they come up with all these different terms for every little uh, kind of confused sexual feeling. I, I guess it used to be tough. You'd be like, oh, I'm gay. And 
Now I got to tell my parents I'm gay and stuff. But if it's so confusing that your parents just go, I don't just get the fuck out of here with, with what you're talking about. <laughs> it's it's just easier. I'm I'm head I'm heteronormative fluid. Oh, okay. What does that mean? Yeah. You suck a dick. <laughs> Yeah, it's all like, I really care everything about. Everything needs a name. It's like, oh, well, I I went on vacation and I some algae brushed up against me and I got it turned on. I need a name for <laughs> algae it. <of> sexual. <laughs> I, they, yeah, they come up with all these names that mean nothing. That was scoliosexual. That's when you get fucked so hard it straightens your spine. Yeah. <laughs> you got <laughs> fucked in the ass till it hits your scol- tailbone. Yeah, I, I I don't know where these these things come from. This is That's parenting. Like as I said to Andy Dick during the Pam Anderson where I was, hey, Andy, pick a hole and stick with it. <laughs> it's just a distraction. It's like not that like anybody has anything against like being different no, or cares? it's like, but it's like you you're clearly doing this for attention and it makes oh. it, it makes it very hard to take seriously like any trans person, any LGBT person. Yeah. You can tell by the way they they look that they're trying to get attention. It's like the piercings, oh, fucking hair. hair, whatever. It's like, oh, I'm so different, and it's no, no, you're really not. You're you're I, the you're the typical I'm different person, <laughs> which isn't buried, really. Yeah, I have to carry that for every nose ring you have in your face or whatever. That's <laughs> uh, four years of quality time your parents didn't spend with you. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I almost got a nose ring in college. Oh, glad you I, didn't. I, then my dad hung out with me once, so I was like, all right. Oh, dad fucking took you for an ice cream, and you were like, yeah, okay, fuck it. That's great. Every day now, I get a TikTok gender horse shit. It's some TikTok person that gets on there, some, and they start talking about gender. Mm. And these... That's it, good, because was people ju- don't talk about that enough. No, they're not enough in, uh, oh, in these I days. should really have a dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was sh- uh, like, uh, he, her... And then them, they was the big uh, switch up. Now you can't even fucking count the amount of, what did we hear? Scully gender, Scully sexual. He's a good streamer. Uh, oh, yeah. Scully him. sexual He's is really amazing. Funny. He plays with a completely scurved spine. <laughs> Her, scurved spine. I like it. It works. What for am me. I saying? I'm Get me another beer for the love of Jesus. I want you to go out there and talk about scurved spines. Scurved spines. Like three minutes. Yeah. Scurved spine with you. Uh, yeah. So TikTok is full of these uh, people that talk about gender. And uh, it's always confusing. This one could be the most ridiculous one we've seen yet. You know what? I know I'm a cis woman, and I know that, like, my my opinion should be taken very lightly. I'm just Already saying. Already discounts her value. In but life. as an ally, I want to say this. I am totally down with neo pronouns such as pizza, pizza self, kitten, kitten self. Simply because, like, if you ask me to call you by pizza pizza kitten self you know whatever then i'm gonna try my best to respect that because what else do i call you i'd just be plain out like disrespecting you if i went by they them because that's not what you want to be referred as and i know people are gonna be like well it, that ju- it just doesn't work that way in the real world and stuff like that but it's like why do we have to work within those boundaries you know what i mean like mm. why do we have to like exactly exactly adjust ourselves for how other people are gonna react like, if you feel comfortable well, with there's more being pizza or being kitten you know what i mean like kittens aren't sexual no do it i love you know there you go well, i what you mean i don't is finally cat, sold a cat's fucking a pizza what's going on kitten pizza yes what a hat and pizza it's a delicacy in uh, wuhan now, now how dumb does video games sound right That's- if that, now how stupid. If that kitten pizza would play a little more video games, we would have to have sit a purpose in life. Bullshit like that. I and these are dude, they're never ending. I know. These these things pour out of social media on a daily basis. You get a collection of people that are trying to explain these different genders in a way where you'd start thinking of the they them thing from years ago when it first yeah. started and go, "Oh no, okay, I see that. That makes it but again, the inch, give them an inch, give them, uh, they take a mile thing. You, you, if, you, if you give them, if you give credence to this insane idea, 
They that don't just go no rules. Right. They don't just go, oh good, thank you, by the way. We'll we'll pack up our stationery right. and our protest right. signs because we won and that's Oh, we live it. in animation now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's no fucking borders or okay. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. All they right. They always go to some insane fucking extreme place. And now it's pizza is a, a pronoun now. And it should be respected if you want to be called you're, pizza. You're making it harder for the other pizzas by talking about you, this shit. You Just think. live your fucking life. Live your life, pizza. Nobody came up to you the other day and go, you fucking dirty pizza. Nobody yeah. screamed that <laughs> at you the pizza. other day. Nobody knows what's in your dumb fucking head. Yeah, hey, hey kitten. Yourself. Not in my neighborhood. I don't want no fucking kittens moving in. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we fucking came from Israel. My parents kept kosher. They were religious. We came here. They're like... Listen, man, we're in town. We're going to play the game. We're not going to yeah. fucking demand people do this for us, right. and treat us this way. And All it breeds is resentment. We're going to get involved with what's going on here. Yeah. We're here now. There's a lot of gender uh, TikToks going on now. Okay. People are on TikTok talking about gender, and I don't even know what the hell they're talking about. Okay. They seem to be a little confused. Uh, we've been playing these over the course of weeks now, and every week uh, I, I find another batch. So here's, uh, you can do any order you want. Hey uh, guys, so I'm finally going to be explaining my gender. So um, xenogender, I believe that's how it's pronounced, um, basically is typically for non-typical neurological people, um, such neurological. as people with ADHD, which I have severely, just because ADHD. we tend to... Um, I have it. Uh, be able oh. to uh, relate to it more um, and basically it's just a belief that um, that I don't want to be put in a specific category um, oh. or box and that yeah. I personally don't feel like I fit in a category or box like I don't feel man I don't feel woman but it's not like I don't believe in those boxes like I don't feel like I'm even should be in like non-binary like I just feel I am like I am a person I'm alive, and that's about it. Um, so, comment any more questions you have. Questions? Hope this helps. You didn't even answer. I don't know what that is. Because I, is I got ADD. Yeah. I'm a guy. Yeah. I've come to that conclusion. Okay. That's that's I, the conclusion you've come to. But I, yeah. She don't know. She's got ADD. But I don't know. What's neural law? Neural law I don't have Nobody idea. knows. No because idea. Because the parents are not looking at these kids and going, stop being an asshole. I don't know stop what it is. Stop being an asshole. To tell you the truth... I've heard things, and I'm like, all right, I, I don't agree with certain things, whatever, mm. but I get it. Like, I could even understand what they, them is. If someone thinks they don't want to be, like, I, 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 I'm a science guy, I X, Y chromosome guy. Mm. He's building a man in the basement. When they, <laughs> when they say certain things, I'm like, all right, I know what you mean. Right. I don't know what the fuck she was talking well, about. I don't, here's what threw me. I'm, I'm confused myself. Yes. I'm confused about the neurological. Ooh. Are you curious? I, I, oh God, I got to ride with him. About. <laughs> not that there's any wrong with no, I'm not confused about me. I'm confused about the statement. <laughs> yes. Look, here's the thing. Whatever you do, I look at this life we have as a prison. We're all, we're all, we're all prisoners in these bodies, but we all got to behave ourselves in the day room. I got it. I love you. Okay. You're right. God bless you. I'm confused too. Look, I don't think I should have a mortgage. Guess what? The bank (laughs) thinks differently (laughs) and they own the house. And they want the money on the 15th. (laughs) Yeah. But what what my concern, I don't understand the neurological connection to the confusion of gender. I don't get that. What is that? You're not, I don't think you're supposed to. You're the science guy. Help me. But I don't think that's science. I don't know what it is. This is a four part, so she continues if you want. Oh, see, we were trying to figure it out after part one. I'm sure she clears it up. Hey guys, so Wait, a lot of you are wondering what oh no, she, pronouns I that's use. That's the same girl. And I actually She's don't use any pronouns. I do have that in my bio. Um, I just don't believe I fit in any of them, and I don't really want to have any, to be honest. Oh. My um, pronouns are Joe Buck in the it's Army. I to get to that. Stop um, the band for four, and people for four the years. Lot and all that Glad fun came stuff. Back. So <laughs> I. I'm also fine with um, being called all the pronouns. So oh. either use none of them Isn't that or that almost like none of, of the them. pronouns then? <laughs> um, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions. It doesn't help. So that was part two. All right. Let's get to part three. 
Mm-hmm. Hi guys, so I think I'm gonna that? play a series <laughs> explaining my gender for you all. What the fuck all. are you? Um, so I think this is part three. I gave of me simple doing that. fucking instructions. So basically, you guys are all wondering how to address me if I don't have any pronouns. And in short, you would just use my name, which is Kayla, instead of other pronouns. We're gonna have to go with that. Would just say yeah. Kayla to the <laughs> store. Or that's Kayla's. Um. And I oftentimes just ask people to go me by K, which is a nickname that my friends and family call me. And I find it's a lot easier to get people to use my chosen um, pronouns um, because it's short, similar to saying um, you have this guy named Bobby and you said he went to the store, saying K went to the store rather than Kayla. Um, so I think that makes it a little easier to understand. <laughs> Could you at least imagine in my case. sitting and listening to this? Um, so no. I hope that helps. No, and let people let them get away questions. with this. Uh-huh. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guy. Oh, is there another video? She comes back looking like Aaron. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I- uh, okay, so uh, what I'm getting is she doesn't really care what the hell you call her. Her name, every pronoun, she doesn't care. So that's all I'm getting from this. But maybe part four will explain a little more. Hey guys, I think this is part four of me explaining my gender. So basically, y'all are wondering how someone would address me Giant, if they didn't uh, know me. I'm confused about the hair. And honestly, you don't know me. Yeah, you can address it, it, me however it's you there, want it's not, because that's definitely you don't know wig. me and you don't know what is right or what is wrong. So I completely understand. The I just hope like that once you actually get to know me or talk to me, that you will ask. You've got to address um, me. As so the, basically, hey. if someone were to come up to me and ask. Um, wanting to know who I was, just to be like, hi, what's your name? Or who are you? What are your pronouns? Oh my um, God, and same thing up to if that? they were talking to someone who was a friend of mine or who knew who I was, if they were like, yo, who is that? You'd yo. be like, oh, that's Kay. Um, Kay is da 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 da. Kids are so um, confused. It's K for men and boys. Kind of confusing, but I hope that helps. <laughs> no. It doesn't help. It didn't help okay. at here's, all. Here's, here's where I come down. You got a right to go. What, yes or no? What do you want me to call you? Fine. I don't want to hear a story. Just tell yeah, me what yeah, you want me to call you. There you go. Tell me what you want Don't even care. What do you want to be called? God bless you. What's I don't, your name? I'm not going to judge. I have oh. no time to judge you, all right? Yeah. I got to eat. So I got to work. I got to eat. What do you want me to call? You I call don't me even... psycho. Because. Yeah. Because. Lighten up, Francis. The teachers, these liberal teachers go, you could be anything you want. Now. They go on, they make a video. Nobody's going to go, you a fucking asshole on the video. So they can just go as they're, uh, until their heart's content with what they want to be called. She's happy. You know what I want to be? I want to be a trust fund baby. How yeah, do I do go. that? Yeah. How do I do I don't that? Think, I don't think you could just make something up and be that. Although, who knows these days? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe.